Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to show you all a very common issue that batsmen of any age has where they are trying to hit offside balls which are bad balls which are easy to score off but they tend to miss it or they miss hit the ball. These balls are bad balls, they should be scored off. So in this video, I'm going to be going through some particular drills that we can do to make sure that the batsman is able to hit it. So the area where the ball would be is outside off. It's a little bit wide and low. These balls are very easy to hit, to hit hard and score runs off on the offside. But some batsmen tend to miss it. The common mistakes that batsmen make are number one, either they take a very big step towards the ball and now they don't have much room to actually swing the bat and hit it on the offside. The second mistake that I see batsmen make and perhaps even you make it, you step and the batsman tends to close the face of the bat to the ball and tries to drive the ball and the outcome could be that the ball hits the bat and goes up for a catch or the batsman misses it or it hits the, the side and goes up to the bowler. So instead of driving the ball, we're going to look at opening the face of the bat because the ball is quite wide, we are safe to do so, opening the face of the bat and hitting. So the correct shot looks like this, a small step, leaning forward, opening the face of the bat, making contact very late, not hitting here where the ball would go to the leg side. We are hitting very late, so the ball would hit right next to us and go on the offside, somewhere between point and covers. So we hit the ball and then we complete the shot on the other side. Another important thing that I want to add in this, uh, in this exercise is after you take your small step, try to get the head over the toes or in front of the toes and then look at playing your shot. This allows your weight to go into the shot and plus it creates a lot of room for you to see the ball and hit the ball in a much more effective way. So to practice this shot, I have a batsman and what we're going to do is we're going to put some cones around their front foot so to make sure that they're not taking a very big step and they're trying to stay within a, a small step zone where they can then lean forward and hit the shot. So the cones would be in front of their front foot and we just make a semicircle around the offside. The batsman can test this distance out. If it's too small or too big, you can adjust the cones as you keep going. So now that I have set the cones for the batsman, I'm going to go on the other side and I'm going to give him some throwdowns. The length, I can vary it, but the line, I'm going to try and keep it outside off stump, somewhere on the seventh or eighth stump. So it's quite far from the batsman's off stump. So he's going to step to the ball, lean into the shot, open the face of the bat and try and hit the ball really hard, trying to score runs. This is a bad ball, we're looking to attack. So I've got a few leather balls with me and I'm giving the batsman throwdowns. Wide outside off stump. The batsman tries to take a small step, leans into the shot, opens the face of the bat and attacks the ball. So this is where the batsman is looking to score runs. I can keep pretty much any length I like as long as the line is outside off stump. As you can see, the cones are there to restrict the batsman from stepping too far out. A small step allows the batsman to create some room and allows them to take their head forward ahead of the ball. So there the ball was a little bit closer to his off stump. So he played with a straight bat, which is good. This is a really useful shot to have for 
any age, especially for junior players where the balls that they might face might not come straight to the stump every time. As you can see, he's leaning forward with his head after he plays. And that should be good. So as you saw, this is a really nice shot to have to score runs when the ball is outside the off stump. So let's go over the few important things with this shot. A small step to make sure that you're creating room for yourself to open the face of the bat and hit the ball hard. Making sure that the head is leaning over the toes or maybe in front of the toes to make sure that your weight is going into the shot. And the last one is to make sure that you open the face of the bat as opposed to having a closed face where you're not driving the ball, you're opening the face of the bat. So you're opening the face of the bat, you're hitting the ball and then completing the shot on your other shoulder. I really want you to try this. I want you to try this with your younger players, with your senior players as well. See how you go. If you have any questions or any issues, put it down in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you and see you next time.